Tonight, a new development in the controversy over the Christmas water crisis. BBC Newsline has obtained documents showing that the Commissioner for Public Appointments has voiced concern about the perceived independence of the two investigators chosen to look into Minister Conor Murphy's handling of the crisis. It's now known that both the investigators were considered by the Minister for senior positions on the board of Northern Ireland Water. Our political reporter Stephen Walker has this exclusive report. The water crisis caused chaos over Christmas and the New Year. An inquiry into how Conor Murphy and his department handled the episode is being run by Phil Holder and Heather Murhead. In January, we revealed that Phil Holder had been interviewed for the position of interim chair of Northern Ireland Water, but was rejected by Conor Murphy, the very minister he's now investigating. Phil Holder told the BBC he didn't believe there was a conflict of interest. Now, following a Freedom of Information request, we've received documents that give us information about Phil Holder's fellow investigator, Heather Murhead. The material shows that Heather Murhead's name was also submitted to Connor Murphy as a potential interim director of Northern Ireland Water. The documents reveal a bizarre twist. They show that staff working for Phil Holder and Heather Murhead wrote to the Commissioner for Public Appointments. In one email, the staff working for Phil Holder and Heather Murhead wanted to know how the non-executive directors of Northern Ireland Water were appointed. The very jobs that Heather Murhead and Phil Holder were considered for. In her response, the Commissioner for Public Appointments, Felicity Houston, told the two investigators, both of you were considered for appointment to the interim board by both DRD, the department you are now reviewing, and Minister Murphy. The letter continued, Although your appointment is not regulated by me, it would be remiss of me not to draw attention to this situation. I believe that once this information is in the public domain, it may undermine your perceived independence or the external nature of your review. The documents also show that the Commissioner for Public Appointments raised her concerns with the head of the civil service. Politicians at Stormont previously called for the DRD inquiry to be suspended and for Phil Holder to be removed after the revelation that he'd been considered for a job at NI Water. This latest development may raise more concerns. We sent a number of questions to Heather Murhead. She declined to comment and instead referred us to the press office of the Northern Ireland Executive. We sent questions to the Office of First and Deputy First Minister and the Department for Regional Development. We haven't received a reply. Stephen Walker, BBC Newsline, Belfast.